What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerdcast for the next episode of Dead State. We've got to like do some stuff and some things. It told me that I should update the job board. I tried to leave town real fast so I could start the episode rolling, 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 but it didn't want me to do that. So unfortunately, we have in party, in party, in party, in party. Yeah, I'm already in the party, man. Everything's looking good. What else is going on over here? Is everybody doing something right now? I actually really, really, really dislike it when I leave people. It's going to take... Oh, Ryan is taking forever to teach her English. We should be able to get her, like, some basic statements down. I think you give me an afternoon with her, and I could get, like, basic English down, I think. I mean, it took me maybe, like, a week to get, like, basic, really, really basic conversational Spanish down. Like, where you can be like, where is the bathroom? I need to shit. Like, you, you could do all of those basic things. Oh, we gotta go back down to here. Okay, off we... Uh, wait, we, we can have a car now? We have the horse, so... Want to be on foot? We have no car. I wish I knew where the car was. My guess is that it's probably at some car-related location. Like something like a garage. Maybe a hospital. I don't know. I'm kind of afraid to go near any of the hospitals or like emergency shelters. You know there's going to be like rogue branches of the military running around just like it was in 28 Days Later. Like just basically holding people hostage. You know, you know, just given the infinite capacity for people to just be shitty, that they will be given half the chance. I just, I don't trust anybody with a gun in the apocalypse. It's no comment on anybody's current profession. It's just anybody that is like trained to kick ass and take names in the apocalypse becomes a liability to my safety. Like, hey, Pleasant Oaks, what is that? Some, I don't know, it's, the entire word was not there, so I don't know. Either way, we got Paul, he's one of the good ones. Keep him on our side. So, if you weren't aware, I'm trying to do this with as much, like, tact and, uh, with as much tact and prose and, like, with as much gentle commentary. Oh, yeah, I took his shield off. We only have a katana now. I don't know if I mentioned that. We're going to katana-nate people because I want to. How often do you get to use a katana on zombies? You sort of have to. We hit him for 92 damage right there, like, seriously. I'm stifling a sneeze right now. That kill was so awesome that my brain just tried to make me sneeze in order to, like, just evacuate some of the excess awesome that could no longer be contained inside of my skull cavity. Let's see here. Antibiotics. Okay, so that's good. On the plus side, we may pick up some extra things. So if you weren't aware... The way this is going down is that Karen has a pregnancy that she does not want. Craig wants the pregnancy. She's going behind his back right now, and she has asked us to, like, provide her with the means necessary to abort the pregnancy because in the apocalypse, she feels like having a child is not okay. She just is not comfortable with it. She's not ready for it, whatever the reason is. After weighing carefully the medical things involved with this particular problem... After weighing medical concerns with parties involved concerns, ETC, I have decided to aid her with it by finding her the things required in order to do the operation. I'm not happy about the decision. I actually really want to make that clear that this decision is probably one of the worst and hardest decisions I have ever had to make inside the confines of a video game. It's really not a fun decision by any means. It's just one of those things where you're like, oh god, really? We brought Regina along this time just to see if she's pretty good. I wanted to look at her strength. If her strength is really, really high, we know that she's really high right now because we gave her all of our weed. But if her strength is really, really high, I may give her a two-handed weapon after this. Maybe give her the katana and then allow him to keep bringing the shield and whatever. I'd like to get her better armor too, but we're in pretty good shape right now. We're not in horrible shape. We've been in worse shape. We also need to go back to the Predator place, but since they gave us that quest to go and handle Karen's problem. I've decided that we're gonna like sideline the predator camp and handle this first. We're gonna try and be as quiet as possible while we roll through here because you never know. I like how there's arrows in like all of the zombies. Like some mysterious guy has come through like Green Arrow or like Hawkeye, except I think Hawkeye would actually land his shots and so would Green Arrow. And here and just like body shot all of the zombies randomly. Got a laptop right there. Be careful going through these doors because sometimes there's zombies right around the corner. They're like peekaboo. And then they snag you. They get you. That door is locked. It looks like there may be somebody... Oh, there's a medicine cabinet? I thought that was a door. Oh, it's the medicine cabinet blocking the door. Might consider going around the back then. And just kind of like seeing what happens. She had mentioned that the abortion kit might be... Hidden in one way or another. I don't know. I'm not sure what to do right now. I'm a little bit lost. 
I'm very, I have a very sheepish feeling about this whole thing, and not sort of like an adorable, I'm gonna grin and then we'll somehow make this go away with humor. I have no idea, like, how to present this situation. As a video game caster, they don't prepare you for potential, like, they don't prepare, they, they, they definitely, it's not in the manual, how to deal with situations in video games surrounding abortion. They don't, they do not cover that, believe it or not. Never brought up, never brought up once. Let me see if I can, Katana! I mean, I... If you have a katana, you sort of have to equip it on somebody. It's it's the rules of the apocalypse. It doesn't matter if we were up against zombies or if it was like a, you know, a six-string samurai type situation where we're mostly fighting against other humans. Whatever the case, you have to use the katana if you have it. It has to go on somebody. Especially since this one has like a cool backstory too. Like, I mean, I don't know if it's true or not or if, you know, the facts can be verified, but I'm just going to say, sure, that's fine. Crash cart. Wow, this location is actually supplying us with a lot of goodies. There we go. Getting stacked up right now. There's a kill. We're going to stay in combat because the zombie saw us. So in he comes. Yeah, I didn't expect that to take damage right there. We shall continue to finish him. Are we now first on initiative because we have a katana? Was it solely the shield that was blocking off our initiative? I think it may have been. This other zombie is going to become aware of us at some point. Oh, there's two in there, and that one has riding leathers. Okay, so this one is a cow-related fashion accessory wearer. Let's go ahead and destroy him, her. I can't tell if that's a dude or a... Yeah, whatever. Zombie! Despite your genital configuration, you shall be cleaved with- Okay, cleaved already with a katana. We're moving on to the next zombie now. We've got other stuff to worry about. We killed the other zombie. We've already discussed genital configurations. Let's go ahead and just finish off a couple more. We've got an exam room in here with two more zombies, several more loot nodes. Hopefully we'll end up finding the kid in here somewhere. Not really sure. I heard there was a bug back when they first developed this where sometimes the kit- Like, the kit wasn't in here. Apparently this was the stopping point from one of the patches back in pre-release. And so, if you had made it to here, after it patched up, the save wouldn't update the loot, so you had to actually spawn the thing for yourself once you started playing the game. Kind of interesting, like, little piece of trivia, I guess, from the game's pre-development. I didn't play this game at all. I had it pre-release, but I wanted to wait until the full thing was done before I played it. I didn't want to spoil it. Let's move over to this side, and we'll grab medical equipment. Surgical tools. Okay, do those count as... What do those count as? Okay, oh, just looking at surgical tools gives me the willies. Man, I hope I never have to get surgery. It'd be the worst. I'm not like afraid of it, but the thought of somebody being like up inside me with like metal objects is concerning. We have a microscope over here. Guess we could use that on like a science lab or something. Why they have a microscope? Maybe. Why would they have a microscope at a medical clinic? Unless they were training people. I would like to kill this zombie before this gets any further out of hand. There we go. Another zombie bites the dust. Let's continue moving through here and trying to find the thing that we're looking for. I think we... Did we get everything in here? She said it would more than likely be hidden. Did they hide it in this file cabinet, perhaps? But like, quickly, hide the abortion... <laughs> hide the abortion materials in the cabinet that no one may find them in the post-apocalypse. Apparently, katanas are good for knocking down doors, too. Who knew? Who knew? Someone phone Little Keek. In case you didn't know, Little Keek has a song called Knocking Doors Down. Just in case, I felt like I needed to explain that one a little bit. Is there a secondary building? Oh, man, is this not the clinic? I don't see it anywhere. They said they'd hide it, but where would they hide it? Like, why would you hide it? That doesn't seem like a normal response for abortion-related accessories. <laughs> like the Hank Hill of abortion. I sell abortions and abortion-related accessories. This seems like really, really like soft ground to tread on. I'm going to be honest right now. I don't know if I should be doing this. I'm trying to make light of a bad situation, but I don't know. I'm feeling very, I'm feeling very iffy about it. Let's see. Ooh, that guy, yeah. I think I hit everything, but I'm willing to double back because this is sort of like a life or death situation. 
Sensitive medical equipment. Yeah, that's the one. All right. Well, we need to carry. Hey, Vic, you look sensitive here. Hold this. <laughs> You're just hear him in a Ron Swanson voice. I have never felt so uncomfortable in my life. <laughs> Believe me, buddy. At least you didn't have to have the conversation. At least you weren't the guy. She talked to me, man. She talked to me, and I had to make the call. So unpleasant. So deeply unpleasant. This is like one of those things that I have to live with now forever just because she asked me. I'm like, I don't even know you like that. You joined the colony like three days ago. And now I'm making like lifelong regrets slash did I make the right decision choices where I'll be sitting up late at night being like, I don't know if I did the right thing decisions. It's not right. This is not a good way to start out a friendship. This is not how we start a working relationship. Can I loot this tree? Sometimes these are apple trees. Hmm. Appears as though I cannot. I think we have plenty of loot, right? I should probably reload these shotguns. My god, I am always doing dumb stuff like this. Alright, so let's reload the shotties just in case. Everybody's reloaded. Awesome. Excelente. I enjoy. So we have two characters that are almost full up. We could hit... I don't know what Pleasant Oaks is. Or we could use this as an exploration day. I'd rather not. I'd actually probably try to be as efficient as possible. Let's go see what this is. It looks like it's a campsite of some nature. It's got a tent, so I figure it's probably camping. Let's see here. Oh, there's another colony. Jacob, Pam, and Ben. Okay, let's go have a conversation. Before I do so, I feel like I should be putting points into like leadership or something. I feel like I've missed out now on a couple of roles that I wouldn't have missed out on if I had taken this. Aim for the head and cruise. It proves, to oh, the chance to hit undead for 25%. Keep allies from going into a panic for three rounds. I don't know what I like better. Both of these seem kind of mediocre because we're already at the point where we're killing a lot of zombies. I guess I'll go for that one. I feel like leadership checks are a decent call right now. All my other stats feel pretty, pretty solid. Let's find out. You just need to turn around. There's nothing for you here. The camp is ours. We'll kill for it if we have to. I didn't know anybody was out here, but now that I do, maybe we can help each other out. We don't need anything. I figured everything out. This group, current supplies, our location. We're set until this whole thing blows over. But keep talking. Who knows? Well, we've got food, water, running electricity, plumbing. You'd be better off with us. There's safety in numbers. Like I said, things are working for us right here. We'll take our chances at the camp, thanks. How about a quick trade, then? We don't need anything. I figured everything out, then. Oh, it looks like... Maybe we could trade info. Have you heard anything about going what's on about... I can read. I swear to God, I'm literate. Maybe we could trade info. You heard anything about what's going on outside this area? Depends on what you know. Not like we hear much about the world out here. God, you could be an asshole and you could send them to Austin. Yeah, it seems like a dick move. It's gonna, I'm not going to kill people. Antibiotics will keep the infection at bay if you get bit. Yeah, we heard that too on the radio. Okay. The shelters they sent people, it didn't seem like it worked out. So much for getting an all clear in the future. Guess we'll have to be extra cautious about protecting our borders. I don't know much. We don't really take any unnecessary risks. One guy here says he heard the military was on their way to our neck of the woods. Like they were sweeping out areas of those corpses, you know. I won't believe it till I see it though. You have anything you're looking to get rid of? Here, why don't you take these bows? We got plenty of them. I can't give you any arrows, but I'm sure you could find or make some. Well, I wish you would all join me, but I understand if you can't. I'll be on my way. Uh, wait a second. My name is Ben. Now, I don't know quite what to make of you yet, but I can't say it's been unpleasant to see another human surviving throughout all this. If you find yourself out here again, why don't you stop by? We might be able to exchange information or just talk. Maybe we can be of use to each other in the future. I will, Ben. Be careful out here. We'll be alright. You have a safe journey back to your shelter. You can walk around our camp if you want, but stay out of people's cabins. They get a little jumpy about strangers. They're likely to start shooting if they think you're robbing them. Nods to the others and lets them know you're not a threat. Yeah, I'll keep this. It's nice to actually see friendly human beings. Like, oh my god, I'm actually sort of stoked about that. Friendly human beings I can deal with. Like, seriously, we could use some of that right now. Definitely use some of that right now. What is this? Oh, berry bushes. I don't know if they're going to be happy about this, but I'm still going to pick on them. There we go. Some dandelions and some berries. Not interested in causing any trouble. I'm actually really, really happy. They're friendly. I'm tired of killing people. 
at this point in the game, we've killed a lot of people. Like, it's strange how many people have just up and lost their minds in the apocalypse. Just not acting right. That's fine right there. If they want to stay there, I'm more than fine slipping through, like, every now and again and just sort of seeing what they have. The scrapyard seems like a good call, maybe. Maybe we could find a car, something like that. Yeah, let's go take a look at the scrapyard. Sounds good. I'm feeling scrappy right now. I'm always feeling scrappy. Like, altercations are right around the corner. Frosty. Frosty. Like a cool glass of cola. That's one of my favorite things, is to get, like, a beer glass. Like, one of the big beer mugs. Like, I don't have any tankards, but I have glass beer mugs that I've accumulated over time. You put them in the freezer, and then you put the beer in the fridge, and then when you put it into the glass, oh, so good. So good. One of the finer things in life. One of those things that, like, honestly, I would miss in the apocalypse. The joys of refrigerated beverages. Mmm. Beer. I would miss beer a lot, too. We'd have to get on that. I, I would hope that we... I mean, in California, we have a very, very large microbrewery scene. So I would hope that eventually we pick up somebody who's good at brewing beer. Just in the off chance so that we could make beer. Because everybody loves beer. Everybody would trade beer, too. If your little culture, like your little society had beer, oh my god, you'd be the talk of the town. Everybody would love you. You be pop, you lar. Oh, you made it. Take a swing. Hooray! You missed. Oh man. Hold on. Get out of the way for her then. If you can't fit in right now, let her squeeze on in. Maybe she can kill him. There we go. I was hoping we get that zombie down by the end of the turn. He looks a little bit better equipped than the others. Oh wow, they gave us a bunch of stuff. So we're at 100. We're overweight right now. Actually, the game's got our weight allotment. Did I put more strength in? Maybe I put more strength in. I don't remember. Either way, I feel like we're overbo I feel like we're overburdened at the moment. She or Vic is overburdened. Don't ever call Vic a she. That was an accident. He might get a little crazy. He's got crazy eye. I'll watch out for it. Yeah, we got cars backed up. I've never seen that happen. I've seen pictures of it happening back in the 70s. I think that must have been a hell of a thing. In the 70s, I don't remember what caused the, the oil shortage in the 70s. I should probably know that being like, you know, a good student of history or whatever. I did take a lot of history classes in college because they were my filler classes. Like, if I need more units, just, like, fill out my full units so I would get my financial aid. I'd always take history classes because I enjoyed them, and they weren't a pain in my ass to take. But, yeah, I remember seeing pictures of that. Hearing my dad talk about how it was difficult to get fuel all over the place back in the 70s. Shit. Oh, yep, he got the jump on us. He's sharing a space with us, though, so at least that's good. I was hoping we could find a beat-ass car out here somewhere. Not to be confused with a beat-ass red car. A beat-ass red car is just a car with a really, really red ass like a baboon. Otherwise, we don't really need that right now. I feel like people are way, way far away a lot of the time in this game. I guess you can go around over to this side. Maybe we can fight both zombies simultaneously. I don't think we need this many people to fight zombies on both sides. Or on one side. Katana! I have to say katana every single time I cut somebody. It's just, it has to be done. Be like, katana! Samurai! Let's take people out right now. Bushido. Could you find like a Bushido manual at this point in the apocalypse? I feel like that would be asking a bit much. A Bushido manual might be hard to come by. Secondly, it doesn't seem like the sort of thing you could learn from a manual. It seems like a manual is good at teaching a lot of things, but unfortunately, Bushido is not one of them. That joke went a different direction than I expected it to. <laughs> Emmanuel. Oh god! His name is Emmanuel, and so the joke is, oh god. Oh god. Making all the funnies while we kill the zombies. Welcome to the Nerd Castle. I feel tired right now. I feel tired of my own shenanigans, and that's never a good sign. A broken down cab. Sure, we could always use more fuel. I, I have trouble believing that if they were having a fuel shortage, they wouldn't have cleaned all the tanks out of these cars. I mean, once you reach the point where you can essentially charge whatever you want for fuel... I'd be draining it, siphoning it out of everything I could get it out of. Because you can charge it, anybody anything for it. I mean, it's an asshole move, but you could do it. I'm going to move him out of the way, too. This is not going to work so great, but I'm going to try and do it to the best of my abilities, I guess. And unfortunately, we couldn't get rid of that Zed, so we might take a little bit of damage right there. I like Regina so far, though. I like having two ranged characters and then two melee characters. I feel like that leaves us in a good spot tactically where I never have to worry about my front line faltering. Now I can have two people, one with a small shield, one with a big shield, especially once we make some new armor, once we get these things reinforced to make some better gear. I would love like some things that allow you to, for example, cross over and like sew a bullet vest into a leather jacket. Things like that seem like they'd be really cool. 
Got a little bit of damage. Not enough right there, though. I'm going to swap and step to the side. She's not going to be able to get into a good position right now, so we'll start from right here. There it is. And so that zombie's finally down. I was hoping we'd find a car here. That was my, my real hope, is that maybe since we had like this little stop and rob or something, we'd be able to find something, but... Nope. Not one bit. This zombie's going to turn around in a second. Yeah, I was going to say, it wouldn't let me click her from that angle, so I had to rotate the camera and move it so that I could actually attack her. Unfortunately, she's still got a turn, but it looked like it came out okay. I wonder what, like, inspired her. Are those fatigues, maybe? I can't tell if they're fatigues or not. Yeah, she's a military per uh, piece of... She is a member of the military personnel who is now a member of the military undead. Crossing genres right here. Crossing genres. Let's go ahead and move that on over and in. I think we've gotten... Did I get the end cap right there? I did. Got the end cap. It really seems like there's a lot more on this shelf than the game's letting loose with. Like, seriously, I feel like there's a lot on that shelf, and the game's just not letting us have it. On this side, let's check the remainder of the vehicles. I don't really care that much about killing the zombies, because it's sort of like, I don't know, time-consuming, I guess. There's a hardware truck. We've got that semi over there. Yeah, I guess we could swing around this way. No harm, no foul. We need everything out of the cars is our main issue right now. So if I can make that happen, that's where I'm going to keep it. If I can just grab the gas, that's all that matters to me. Let's go ahead and take out this biker zombie over here. Maybe he's not a biker. Oh, never mind. He doesn't have a leather jacket on. His skin's just really, really dark. It's the same. It's almost the same color as his shirt. It's hard to tell. Smack that guy with a bat. And then step back. Maybe finish this one off with a knife. There we go. We're still not out of the woods yet, and I'm willing to bet it's these guys over here. So I'm going to move over to this side. It might also be... I don't know who it is, actually. Well, we might end up killing all these zombies anyways. It's not the most thrilling of combats, but still. Has to happen every now and again. It has to happen. I think what I'll do is I'll probably end up like breaking the episode off right here while I finish off the zombies. I'll corral all the loot, and then we'll come back when I'm on my way back to the shelter. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here in another rather odd, awkward kind of conversation in Dead State. This is one of those events. I don't think I've ever had an event that was quite so awkward throughout my time gaming. This one's definitely a toughie. It's a toughie. Say what you will about the game, but it definitely puts some war it puts some moral quandaries in front of you that put you at war with yourself. I will see you all in the next episode. Take care out there everybody and hi do.